NCAA football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Golden Eagles haven't only flirted with disaster, they've courted disaster, they've romanced disaster, they've married disaster, they've become one with disaster. So finally, now at rock bottom, there's only one way to go, and they finally go up. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA College Football Action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Potato States. Bronco Stadium in Boise is the site for today's matchup. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. Myra from the six. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Boise State's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Throws, and it's incomplete. Wow, Brad, you talk about having a strong arm. Next time, though, he might want to work on the accuracy. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 27. Let's go! Red, Red, Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's tackled at the 38. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. running right there getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped from the 49 yard line first down Aaron and out long caught out in the open touchdown huge play the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Bulldogs were ranked 18. They hope this victory will push them even higher. And for New Mexico State, they've now lost six in a row. Fresno State gets the win by four. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Boise State kicked this one off. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 29. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Here's a throw. I don't think he got anything on that. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Passes it to the middle of the field. Tackle at the 28-yard line. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Third and 11. Ball on the 28-yard line. 
Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. They'll bring him down. Right around the 48-yard line. Every offense needs to have at least one back who can make something happen in the passing game, especially offenses that run a lot of screen plays. You can really gain the upper hand on a defense when you can utilize him like we just saw. Up the middle for a nice game. some steam on that throw and he's taken down around the 37 yard line the pass is complete for seven yards and that'll be a first down and how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver pass the sticks and get in the ball that was a great throw catches it he's immediately tackled behind the line that'll be a two-yard loss really they just had nowhere to go after the catch yard line second down it's caught first down and he's out of bounds I'll tell you something I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on he's really throwing the ball with some purpose they'll spread the field with five wide it up the middle for a nice run. Tackle made at about the 23 yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Makes the catch and look out. Brought down around the 11 yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. Should be an easy field goal. He gets it up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Southern miss to kick. Fielded at the four. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. And he's tackled at the 31. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. Boise State is up by four. Oh, it almost 
picked off. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. That makes it second and ten. From their own 44 yard line, it's second down. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Incomplete pass. Merrick, the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and ten. Quick throw. He's tackled at the 46 yard line. Parsons on the tackle at the 46 yard line. Fourth down. So at the end of one quarter, the Broncos lead 7 3. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Rich is back awaiting the punt. He fields a punt at the 20. Tackle at the 28. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Fires it out. And he is drilled at the 34-yard line. Outlaw picks up six yards with that grab. At the 34-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Tackles him for a loss. When this guy gets his arms around the ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. Third down and seven. Ball on the 31. Long to punt. He dropped it. Tackle made at the 46. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Boise State holds a four-point lead. Makes it out to about the 46. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. it out to about the 36. <laughs> nice catch on that one. He's taken down around the 27-yard line. Second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Nice run up the middle. That's a loss of one. That'll bring up second and 11. From the 21 yard line, it's second down. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete.
catches one for the end zone. Can't connect. He led his wide receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Boise State is up four. It's up, and the field goal is good. Ewing has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's hit and taken down. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Strike to his receiver, no good. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. From their own 47-yard line, second down. Has it to the senior. He's tackled in the open field. Call it a gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. He's at the 30, tackle at about the 27-yard line. First down. Crunch time, defense. Mike 13, Mike 13. Hey, kill, kill. kill. Off balance throw, got him anyway. They'll bring him down at the 22. Right, gains about five yards on the play. Golden Eagles will use their first time out of the half. From the 22-yard line, second down. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. One job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. Fourth down. And the offense is still on the field. coming deep ball laying it out there football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down in a game that's this close you can't afford to waste possessions Boise State is up a score Carries the ball for a nice game. The Broncos taking their first time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Fires out to his receiver, and he's taken down at the 41-yard line. That's a smart play here by the quarterback. He threw it into the window the zone coverage gave him. Nice pass and a nice job by the receiver running the slant. We played a half of football. Boise State leads it 
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast paced up tempo scoring points galore it's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball just about time to get you back out for the second half brad and kirk will be along in just a second you're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here got a good well, like a game score we're locked and loaded we got all the big screens going you're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later we loaded man i'll try you think you can keep on your shoes in the second half i'll try to they stinky <laughs> yes Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He'll return it from the six. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 39-yard line. Boise State's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. He's out of bounds at the 47. That's a team eight on the play. Man, that one on third and two. Run there. Gain of seven on the play. First down. Right left, right left. Four down, four down. Mike Christie, Mike Christie. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Gain of four on the play. That brings him second and five. Zips it to the back. Tackle made at the 30. Gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Mike 13, Mike 13. He fights forward to about the 29. So we're looking at another third down here. Go, go. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Boise State is up seven. 
Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Got a man. Watch out here. And down he goes at the 44. That makes it second and two. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And they push him out at the 35-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. And he's tackled at about the 17-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 17. Boise State is up by a touchdown. Throws complete. He's hit right away. And this play is number eight on the drive. to the 20 and he's taken down at the 24 yard line the bronco staff has got a winner on their hands you've been around kids like this they're just fun to be around they're fun to be around and i think it's infectious his attitude i think uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team there's it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at, uh, at the front leading the way and they make the stop around the 35 yard line first down It to the 38 yard line. That'll make it second and second. Throws completely stopped immediately. Allen on the tackle at the 42 yard line. Third down. Receiver incomplete. Yeah, I think the quarterback got so excited to make this throw that I think he just put too much on the football. His receiver was open, he just misfired. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. 
Parker takes it to 25. Brought down at the 33. Boise State's showing right now that they are not content to sit back and just watch their lead disappear. They're adding to it. Boy, they're clicking right now on offense. They've found their rhythm, and as you said, they're not looking back. They're trying to extend this lead and try to put this game out of reach. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. First and 10, ball on the 45. Swings it to his tight end, but he drops it. The pass was right on target, so that took a perfectly timed hard hit to knock it free. Strong defense to deny the completion. the PAT. A short three-play, 67-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. So at the end of three, the Broncos lead 24-3. Looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. Out of bounds around the 25 yard line. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Clippy. Receiving team. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's tackled around the 10-yard line. Second down at 12. Ball on their own 10. With the pass incomplete. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. throw he's taken down at the 39 hey I know there's not much time left in this game and they're down big but you never know we've seen crazier things in college football maybe they get this ball into the end zone recover an onside kick and who knows maybe they can come back and win this thing they come out on an empty backfield Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on their own 34. Makes the catch, and he might take it. Tackle right around the 42-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Clippy. Offense. Clipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Very clutch tackle. 
tackle there because this kid had some space. First down. Here's a quick throw. And he's level at the 11-yard line. Five wide. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Duncan gains four yards on that reception. to try to single out just one of them to stop. And he hits the PAT. So a nine-play, 70-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. A few moments ago, it looked like this team was done. And now they're only down two scores, and they've got the ball back plus momentum. It just shows you how fast things can change. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Just under three to go in regulation. He's got it with room to run. They'll bring him down at the 45. That'll make it third and one. So they're going to go for it here. This is what power football is all about, folks. Fires to his tight end, nothing to it. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Nice run up the middle. Sanders gained seven yards on that play. The Golden Eagles taking their first time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Makes it to the 37. Very well designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Sanders picks up about seven yards on the run. Southern Miss will take their last time out. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Up the middle for a nice game. Ha! <laughs> 
just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't successful. That stop gave this defense some momentum last time out. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep that intensity on this drive. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Spikes the ball. From their own 21-yard line, third down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Throws it in a hurry, and he's taken down at the 31. That's a gain of 10 on the Losing 20. They come out in a five-wide set. Tackle made at the 48. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Under a minute left. Got a man wide open, and it goes through his hands. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Under pressure. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Brought down at about the 35. Check, check. Answer, dance. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Orange three. Orange three. And he stops the clock with a spike. That makes it second and ten. From the 35-yard line, second down. Mike 13, Mike 13. He heaves it deep. He's got it, touchdown. Big, big touchdown through the air, and now it's a one-score game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. ended this offense's last drive. Let's see as they come out on the field what they'll do this time around. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. So this one's in the books, and we saw a great one here today. 24-17, Boise State. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.